हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज लोकेश सेन वेलकम टू दिस चैनल वंस अगेन टुडे आई एम शोइंग यू द न्यू अपडेट इन द वन प्लस थ्री दैट इज द ऑक्सीजन ओ एस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड वी विल फ्लैश इट थ्रू द वन प्लस डॉट नेट एंड आई हैव डाउनलोडेड दिस फ्रॉम दैट साइट ऑफ द दैट ऑफिशियल साइट ऑफ द वन प्लस एंड आफ्टर दैट Uh, through the stock recovery i have flashed it on this mobile now let's see what kind of features it has so basically this is the community build so if you look at the features in this one so first of all i want to show you that this one is if you just come to the about phone then you see this is the oxygen os version 3.5 here and the same marshmallow update is this one but at this time the android security patch level is the 1st august so this is the latest one but this is not the ota so let's come to the home again uh, here you see uh, first of all i want to say you that i'm using here the uh, one plus launcher so that is the stock launcher and it has again the same things so, uh, if you slide towards the right side you have the shelf so on the shelf at this time we have little bit of animation look you look here this is a little bit of animation at this time and uh, the frequent contacts and the different different widgets you can add on this shelf now come to the main screen uh, now on the main screen we have if you tap for a while then the wallpaper widgets and the customize options are here if i want to add here any widgets then let add here a widget of my choice so i am adding it yeah this is my choice so now this one is here this is working absolutely fine then again this uh, was about the widgets all widgets are here and the wallpapers are here you can change the wallpapers uh, for both uh, you can ch check uh, change it for the lock screen as well as for the home screen and the all wallpapers are here so let's back now go into the customize option again we have the same kind of customization customization option uh, as we had in the 3.2.4 version at this time we are missing one thing that we do not have the options to change the grid means you cannot change the number of rows or number of columns in this one so that is missing we do not have uh, that option here so again let's come out from this now these are the my favorite apps uh, which are here and now this is the drawer you have so in this drawer uh, we have few new apps which are from the oneplus itself like this calculator this calculator is from the oneplus then we have the clock clock is also from the oneplus uh, at this time then you have the file manager file manager manager is also from the one plus at this time then you have the gallery gallery is also from the one plus then after this uh, if you look at these apps yeah the one more app is here that is the weather app so i think this is a collaboration through the aq weather so now it is here so this is the draw now let's move towards uh, the settings in this one so this is the uh, drop down panel and uh, you look uh, you see these all are here now you 
applied it more then here this is the notification panel of this one so this is also quite animated so this is the animated also at this time and you can change or you can increase or decrease these all toggles here through this button so now it is your choice that what kind of button you want to put here in your showcase so suppose if i want to put here the vpn so instantly the vpn is replaced uh, the, uh, the lock buttons are replaced by the vpn now you simply apply here the save sign so now let's move. now vpn is here okay now this uh, automatic brightness and the manual brightness but uh, slide bar is also here so no problem now let's go into the internal settings now in the internal settings that is again the same uh, wi-fi is here the bluetooth option is the same the sim and network uh, is again the same type so nothing is changed in this in this one data uses this is the as it is but this is a little bit change in this one uh, at this time how much data is remaining and what is the consumption and these all things are mentioned here even the billing cycling plan and the cellular data uses these are things are here like if I say about the about this one then these are here also we have the wireless network means Wi-Fi data uses so that is also at this time previously it was not there now let's come to the home so in the home these are the launchers which you can use so right now I'm using here the oneplus launcher then slide alert also has the options means uh, you know that uh, you, we have the three uh, uh, type of positions in this one so these are the options that when this is uh, in the general mode then how will you use the ringtones and these all things and if you are here in the uh, middle position then do not disturb means what so everything is here means what kind of uh, customization you want here and uh, silent this is the uppermost position then in that case what is your need accordingly you can do that one now buttons now again that is the same thing uh, whichever was the, in the 3.2.4 uh, of the oxygen os but at this time we are missing one thing that is we do not have the customization button at this time we do not have the customization button so you cannot change the colors of these buttons here on the setting menu so that is the missing one and also we do not have the srg option at this time they do not have this one yes in the gestures uh, again few gestures have been increased in this one like these first uh, four are same but flip to mute means this is a advanced button right now that you just flip this phone so that whatever call you have or whatever uh, music you have that will mute down and three finger screenshot option is right now also here so it means if you uh, pick the three fingers like if I do that one like this then this is the screenshot so three finger sc screenshot is here and at this time pocket mode uh, switch is also here means previously it was the default that when you put the mobile in pocket that really activates itself but at this time it is your option that either you keep on or off it is your choice so these have been increased now let's come to the display again that is the same thing but a little bit different in uh, saying and color balance option is here so you can increase you can increase or decrease the warmness or the coldness of this so uh, i'll take this at the middle now theme 
are the same font size auto rotate ambient display no problem those all are the same pulse notification light now again this is your choice whether you want to use the pulse notification light or not previously it was not there now after this if you come into the sound then again there is no change in this one but uh, but at this time uh, one option is here that you may choose two different ringtones for the two sim cards so yes you should uh, switch it on for this one and after that you can choose any ringtone of your choice for the sim card one and similarly the any ringtone of the choice of the sim card too so this is the better one so this was not an in any version of the oxygen os previously so now the sms ringtone the default ringtone all things are here all customizations are here uh, no change in this one after this uh, this is the notification so in the app notification you may change uh, the notifications of your choice so that was also in the previous version battery yeah if you look at this one battery is quite stable right now because if i was using this phone then at that time the battery was uh, decreasing or the power consumption has been shown here but when i was at rest in the night when i was sleeping sleeping sorry then at that time you see uh, this graph has the approximately zero slope it means stand in the standby mode this does not means this oxygen ver uh, version uh, is not consuming the battery so this is the better one so there is no possibility or the slightly less possibility of the draining of battery now you see uh, if you look at the consumption this is the screen on time so you look uh, i regularly have used it to the 4 hour 48 minutes right now uh, from the ch uh, charging time so i see that still the 20 percent battery is remaining here so i can say that yes definitely this will go for the six hours so i think six hours screen on time is good so again at this time i'm saying this is the added advantage over the 3.2 because at this time battery backup is good so this is the pattern where uh, we can see uh, the battery consumption one more thing uh, you can in remove or you can apply here the battery percentage sign by applying or by uh, switch on this button so this is also here but one more thing we cannot uh, change here this circle icon at this time of the battery so this is quite odd because the battery percentage and circle are using the space in the status bar however both should be at the same place means the percentage should be in between uh, this uh, circle so this was in the 3.2.4 in the system user interface uh, button so we will see later on this one after this you have the storage and memory so nothing is changed in this one uh, everything is same nothing is that so users that that is the same apps that is the same location no problem security and fingerprint uh, no problem at all that is again the same so no changes at all in this one then you know accounts and googles are same then date and time both are same language and input so i think at this time they do not have the more languages yes they have but the most comfortable in this case is the english for me then after this this is the backup and the reset no problem we have the one additional uh, button here that is the advanced in this ad one advanced button we have uh, they have used here the accessibility button which was separate previously so if you look at this one in the accessibility uh, everything is here of your customization it depends on you that what 
you want to do so this was the accessibility printing button is separate this is the new but, uh, button this is the scheduled power on or off so at this time if you wish that after in the night 12 o'clock the mobile switch off itself and in the morning the switch off at the six o'clock six o'clock automatically so now this option is available and but remember there is no problem if phone is switched off then still the alarms will ring so no problem this will act as a clock in that condition then you have the join user enjoy plan so if you on this one then in this case whatever feedbacks or whatever uh, your ideas in in that case you can pass on these to the oneplus now this is the developer option and definitely uh, this is here and in this one one most important thing which i found here is this select usb configuration in general when we plug the data cable of this into the laptop then the initial uh, show was for the charging so that was the pop-up which was showing the charging so manually we uh, changes to the file transfer but at this time you can do one thing you make change here for the for the file transfer of your or of your, uh, your choice then in that case then in that case uh, whenever you plug in the data cable in the laptop then instantly the file transfer option will come out there then show touches and these all things are here which were also in the 3.2.4 system user interface tuner and uh, this is nothing new in this one then system ad updates about phone these all are here so I think this is quite improvement uh, in the oneplus uh, in the case of the oxygen os so uh, this was the thing i want to show you today i think uh, you all enjoyed this one and if there is any significant need for the improvement uh, please definitely suggest me uh, i'm trying my best to give you the best things so thank you very much for showing uh, uh, for watching this video and uh, if you like this one and if you want to uh, uh, watch this kind of uh, videos then for that one definitely you should subscribe thank you very much